In our last video, we discussed upgrading our Cucumber Cukes version 1.2.5 to Cucumber 4. We also upgraded the libraries. We also upgraded some of the code that was kind of breaking. And we also upgraded some of the libraries as we saw in our previous video. But today we are going to replace some of the code that are going to be creating some of the problems, something like these crosses. So these libraries does not really exist. So you can see that the before and after does not really exist in the hooks of the this library at least. And similarly, if you go to the login steps, you can see that the given then and are not applicable as well. So how to resolve this issue is very, very simple. You can see that these libraries are now not applicable as we saw in our slide in our previous video. So we're going to be removing them completely from here. And you can see that these are now in red color because they don't really exist. So if I hit Alt Enter, you can import the class. And you can see that the library this time is going to be from io.cucumber.java. So it's not from the cucumber.api.java.en. It's from this one, right? I'm going to uh, also do the same for given and as well. And now the cross are gone. It's all good right now. Similarly for the hooks, I can just go uh, and remove the and and after and before. Hit Alt Enter, uh, add that. And if I go over here, Alt Enter, import the class over here. Awesome. So now you can see that everything is pretty cool. And now if I try to build this particular project, as usual, there won't be any problem right now, just that there is warning here. So what is this particular warning? So let's quickly see this warning as well. You can see that the scenario is also now deprecated. The reason is because the scenario is not from the cucumber.api. It's basically from the different library path. It's from the io.cucumber.core.api. So I'm just going to import that as well. And now everything is looking cool. I'm just going to uh, build this particular project once again. And you can see that there is no warnings as well. So now our project is 100% Cucumber 4 upgraded. So this is where we can tell that our project is now Cucumber 4 upgraded. We can now use our code with Cucumber 4's latest and the greatest change. We are going to be talking about some of the features in our next video. But as of now, this is just the upgrade, guys. Just bear with me. So I'm just going to save this thing right now. And I'm going to build the particular project looking good. And now in order to execute this code, I'm going to go to the testng.xml file. I'm not going to do any change here. I'm just going to run this particular XML file and we'll see what's going to basically happen. And you can see that as expected, it is opening the browser, but we are getting some error behind the scene. And the error is because, let me close these two uh, browsers. If you just scroll all the way down, it says some different sort of error. Don't just worry about it. But this is the one that we should be worrying about. It says can't convert the data table to list of step of login step user. It also says you can register a data table type using a data table type dot entry. For more control, you can define your own data table type with a table entry transformer or table row transformer for the steps. So we can use or write our own transformer to convert the actual code or the actual class to this particular user class or the most easiest way as of now just for this particular video because we're doing an upgrade. I'm just going to comment this particular piece of code and instead of the user.class I'm just going to say string.class in here. And I'm going to change this to var and let's copy this particular code and let me come on this particular piece of code. I'm going to paste this guy over here and over here for the user, I can just do get because this is going to be actually coming from the list. As you can see, it is actually a list over here. And because our table, if you just remember in our earlier videos, we entered the table something like this. So now the table will be having the data something like 0, 1, 2, and 3 values. So this is the total list of values. So this is going to be 0, this is going to be 1, this is going to be 2, this is going to be 3, right? So as that said, if you need to get the value for the username, which is the admin, it is going to be 0, 1, 2, right? So I'm just going to put 2 in here. 
Similarly, I'm just going to say users dot get of three to get the password. So this way it actually enters the value. If it is actually getting an object. So probably I'm going to convert this to two string and I'm going to convert this to two string as well. I'm just going to save this and I'm going to put a breakpoint here just for the demonstration purpose. I'm just going to save this guy and I'm going to put a breakpoint in here as well. I'm going to debug this and I will show you quickly how the data table is going to behave right now with the change of uh, this particular library. So as you can see, it actually gets the username and password, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to just execute that. And now if I try to see what is this particular expression evaluates as to, you can see that it evaluates that to admin, which is pretty cool. And similarly for the three, it should be evaluating to the password. So now if I just try to execute this particular piece of code, you can see that it opens the browser. Uh, maybe it's because of this particular guy. I'm gonna run this again. And you can see that it has entered the username and password and that's the reason it has came to this particular second page. So I'm just gonna quit this. And we will have this particular scenario succeeded. And there is one more scenario which has got failed. The reason is because we intentionally made it fail in our earlier videos of this particular course. As you can see, we're expecting it to be uh, a value of something SD, FG, which is like kind of scrambled. So I probably can come on this particular piece of code. And now if I try to execute this, you can see the whole code execution in action. So it should open uh, a browser. As you can see, it enters the username and password. It also enters the username and password and it got succeeded, right? So this way it proves the point that our upgrade has been successfully completed without having any problem right now. So this is how we can actually upgrade our code to the latest and the greatest of Cucumber 4. In our next video, we are going to be discussing about some of the features Cucumber 4 actually provides to us and we'll see how we can leverage the power of those features, at least basically how to use those features in much greater detail. Thank you.